He had the lives of hospital patients in his hands, a kid playing a doctor, and then playing a cop in a car with a pistol and a taser. But then police life for real when he went to prison. Now he's out telling Matt Gutman the family secret that led to a life of fantasy and crime. Meet Matthew Scheid. At 21, he's already lived a lifetime's worth of twisted tales, fake identities, and family secrets that play like something spun out of Hollywood. A case crazy enough to be a movie if the movie hadn't already been made. Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio playing a chameleon con man, pretending to be, among many other things, a doctor. Dr. Harris. Yes? Do you concur? The modern take of a faker in a hospital happened in Osceola Regional Medical Center in Kissimmee, Florida. A teenager caught pretending to be a local physician assistant. An imposter in the emergency room. August 2011, Matthew Schein, then a fresh-faced teenager, reports for duty in the ER in scrubs, a stethoscope, and a badge identifying him as a PA, a physician assistant, about as close as you can get to being a doctor without an MD. I'm a doctor. Like DiCaprio in the movie, Scheid oozes confidence. He's kind of charming. He is charming. He is, he's very charming. Unlike DiCaprio's character who gets queasy in the emergency room, Scheid is drawn to the action. He performed procedures on patients. Reporter Nancy Alvarez with Channel 9 in Orlando. This kid touched patients. This kid held a child who was getting stitches. After a month, someone at the hospital finally gets suspicious of the kid carrying the badge and stethoscope. I appreciate you coming now. Oh, absolutely. Shine is quickly transferred from the emergency room to a police interrogation room. One of the uh, techs had to run out of the room to go get something, and I was told to take over CPR by a physician. So confident he can talk his way out of anything, Shine waves his right to a lawyer and begins to tell his tale. I mean, I just, you know, told him, and he said, what do you think it is? And I told him, you know, it could be a kidney stone, it could be a kidney infection, it could be a UTI. And he just was right talking, now, so talking, so talking, so talking, and talking. I had an interest. I, I still kind of somewhat have an interest in the medical field. An interest, yes. A license, no. In fact, Scheid had no formal education after the 10th grade. He's not a physician assistant. What he is is a 17-year-old kid with a filing job at a doctor's office. I just did clerical work and then, you know, assistant, I, I knew one of the physicians. He used to run errands to the hospital, so he asked him for an ID badge and somehow talked his way into getting him the one that would let him prowl the ER for weeks. Scheid tells cops his medical knowledge comes from playing games on his smartphone. Like speed anatomy and stuff like that, so I can help him like, learn all the anatomy and stuff. When ultimately confronted by the police, the teen has the temerity to blame the charade on the hospital for handing him that incorrect ID badge. Let's even say that I said I was a physician's assistant. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that I was. Mm -hmm. Are you that stupid that you're just going to put me into the system with that? Are you okay. without any credentials or any, any paperwork or nothing? The Osceola Medical Center told 2020 changes have been made and... At our hospital, our badging process is significantly more secure. I guess so, right? Like, I felt like I was, you know, I was supposed to be there and I was supposed to be learning by them and, you know, they were supposed to be teaching me. Matthew ended up getting attorneys, after all, Mark Eiglarsh among them. I believe that Matthew did everything that he did with good intentions, like holding a patient's hands while they got, while she got sutured, was designed to, to show love, to help out. The police interrogation ends and Matthew is charged. Matthew, anything you want to say to But then something inexplicable. So Matthew makes bail and promptly skips it. And his next misadventure takes him here to South Beach in an old school Crown Victoria that looks a lot like this one. And that's when the wheels really come off Matthew's fantasy ride. Turns out he has another presumed profession, cop, and appears to be practicing it a little too hard. Pulled up next to a real cop, with all the confidence of a real cop, but he's just a kid pretending to be one. When he tells the undercover cop to put on his seatbelt, let's just say it doesn't go over too well. And that person said, why are you a police officer? And they claimed that he said yes, 
and that he acted in a way consistent with someone who was a law enforcement officer. Busted again. This police photo captures the cache of cop gear in the car, radio, taser, a badge, and under the front seat, a loaded handgun. Miami Beach cops arrested Scheidt after he pulled next to an officer in a white Crown Vic and told him to buckle his seatbelt. In August 2012, he goes on trial for, among other things, practicing medicine without a license and impersonating a physician assistant. I was sitting just a few feet away from him and there were tears in his eyes and he looked petrified. And I felt for him for a moment and then I wondered, hmm, could this be real? Because he, could he be performing again? We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of impersonating a physician's assistant as charged in... Convicted on four felony charges, he would serve a year in jail, most of it in solitary confinement. Because this was a high-profile case, I think that the corrections department thought that it would be best to keep him separate from the population. With the young pretender now behind bars, one question still lingers. Why? What was so wrong with Matthew Scheid? that another character or characters had to be created. When we come back, the impish imposter finally breaks his silence. It was just secrets and, and just lies and all the way around it was. Revealing his stunning story. So you created this, this world of lies to hide this family secret. Stay with us.